Via Sahel on our way to the castle. The next place we'll be staying at for the night. She's getting some pork here. So, uh, it's pork o'clock. And they have some ice cream. Maybe we'll come here later. Check out some of the stuff and uh, see what we want to see and go do. I am right in the sun, it is hotter than blazes, just sweating right off of me. Okay, now we have, have our food. Turn around, is it clear on the other side? Oh, shooks, shooks to go. Next stop, southern tip of Leyte. We have our bike all packed up. I will be unloading that shortly. I will get you the name of this one. It is a beautiful little place. And this is the front entrance, the lobby, and we are in number four because everybody wants to see, everybody wants to see a room, so everybody wants to see Mara Lu, of course, because every YouTuber's success is his Filipina. And uh, here is a closet and lights and artwork and my OCD is screaming right now my <laughs> this is a great room it is so nice and cold in here but my OCD is seeing everything crooked so is that light crooked or yes it's crooked but it has bends in it which make it seem even more crooked and that picture is crooked to the left but then that lamp <laughs> is, is like in my mind sending my anxiety through the roof and these two lights are I think bent and I'm completely ruining this place. This place is wonderful. <laughs> but I just I I hate seeing crooked things. Like it just really I wanna fix it. It's design. It's the design? Yeah. Okay. But this is crooked. Like this yeah, should be one, yeah. and when this is crooked it makes that look more crooked. <laughs> and it it, it, it in OCD people it it just yeah but I'll be okay and see like look at like this is great air conditioning but look at the bits they're all broken in there and but it feels so good we've been out waiting they they got us in early and they're wonderful people and here's a little guy on a caribou Look at that. He's riding the, riding the caribou. I used to call them oxen, ox, but no, this is caribou. <laughs> and here is a, oi, I'm gonna drop it. This is a, an alligator with something broken on him, or that's some kind of a, oh, that's his tail? He's lost his tail. Well, a little finely paced super glue would fix that. So somebody broke him in the past and just set him up here. That was their way of, wait, is there even more? Even more parts of the tail. That guy's been through hell, but he's still here. I'm still standing. Better than ever. Look at this, we have an in-room safe. We'll see what Mara Lou does with that one. Oh. And look here, we have uh, have the goose, the golden goose that laid the golden egg. Okay. <laughs> oh, the bathroom. Everybody so wants to know. Cute. Everybody wants to know the bathroom. Oh, here's the bathroom. Wow, high ceilings. And uh, 
There goes my OCD. The fan could use a cleaning. Here's here's a shower with the uh, tabo, but it has a heater, so no cold shower here. She's already breaking stuff. She must be breaking that in room safe. Or she's. What are you breaking over there? Nothing. I heard something. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, hello. Good Lord, look at that hair. I, I had the best haircut for one American dollar. I gave him another dollar tip, but let's face it, it's all going pretty quick anyways. Which amazes me because she has more hair around than I do. And if I could have just the hair she loses every day, I'd have a full head of hair. But, oh wow, that's a, that's a big beard. Oh, there I am yawning. Look at that, we even have TP for the for the white man. And for the for the in learning. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. So that's our bottom pressure. You just look at that though. How nice that you can just wash everything down. You just learn to sit on wet toilets and and just have a wet butt. But you know, what's better, a wet butt uh, that's gonna dry or poopy butt? So, uh, so yeah, this is this is nice. This is uh, this is. Uh, what does this conversion come down to? Is this how much is this one? Do you know yet? Yeah. 2,750 pesos, yeah. which I don't have my thing. Uh, it's like 48, 48 dollars and 30 cents. 48 dollars and 30 cents. You know, I tried to explain to her, which will, when we get to the USA and go through all that, right now she's researching K1 visa, but uh, there's a fridge down there below the desk I just noticed. So that's nice. Yeah. It needs to be plugged in though. See the plug in by the, by the container, the wastebasket. This, this place is trying to conserve some electricity. That's good. Um, oh yeah, you can't get a crack hotel for 80 bucks in the USA. I mean, God knows what you get. Uh, everything's pretty much 100 and up I think nowadays. Uh, a best western I think if you're lucky would be 85 bucks maybe a night um, so this is very nice so there is my unprofessional view uh, room thing beautiful view we're gonna head down to the beach soon I will show you that am I recording yes I see the red light so, we are at our new destination. Check this out. How cool is this? Water. More of a sandy coral beach. And uh, mountains. Very nice. So we're going to be staying at this one for a couple days. And... Uh, just so nice private beach this one there's a public beach next door and uh, they have snorkels and stuff we can buy so that will be our next it's an old place but has very cool charm swimming pool which I guess is just the normal thing some pretty flowers bit of a hole I almost lost myself but Marlou went to get some of our drinks check-in is actually at three but they're accommodating us which is awesome 
and we're just gonna kind of camp out here for a little while we stopped in town and got some of this chooks to go which I just remembered I filmed some of that anyways while she's getting it and uh, you know you're always gonna sweat I was gonna be sweaty stinky that's all there is to it unless my body gets I can't put on enough cologne and uh, deodorant I can't wait to get down there though looks pretty awesome I could get used to this part Very cool. All right, I turned off my front screen to try to save battery, but I see the red light flashing, so hopefully. But now I'll be starting to turn it all the time to see. So yes, we are recording. Two minutes, 58 seconds. So I figured out that the one way for me to have a short video is to run out of SD card and ultimately I had to make a choice of deleting some things on the spot while I was there. Um, if you ever go to the Philippines make sure you have plenty of extra SD cards between the drone which is like 7k and your GoPros which those also need to be like 500 and whatever gigabytes each. Um, you really go through a lot of material fast and if you have to upload to the cloud like with the GoPro you need good internet so anyways at some point in the whole thing I lost or had to delete some of my material but again that's gonna keep me under a half hour on this one there's definitely some uh, longer ones coming so you're not gonna get away from that what a beautiful place. Um, we only stayed here one night. We ended up on our way to Limasawa Island. Uh, there is a ferry boat that you can take about uh, 10 minutes away from the castle resort. And very beautiful spot. The Blue Deep, or excuse me, not the Blue Deep, the the castle we did not eat there they had a beautiful looking restaurant but essentially it was gonna be like an hour to get any food I honestly believe that they simply go into town and get food and bring it back I, I just they had some kind of issues with food and we didn't want to wait so long for eating it's a shame because it's a beautiful place it's a beautiful restaurant the quotes private beach they have down below while very beautiful um, it's not maintained very well if you go out swimming they have all those black spiky urchin kind of things that are like poisonous and so we ended up walking from the private beach over to where all the other people were because that's just was better it was just safer and uh none of those urchin things which surprisingly we seen a guy with an inner tube and he was catching all those things but there was just a lot more you know over there kind of this separation you see in the middle there's the private beach there on the left but then there's the open area that everybody's at and why not be where everybody's at anyways it just uh was a really nice spot that's where a lot of people go it's where Tim K and Harold Balder went on one of their videos it was very cool to relive or or be in some of the familiar things I had seen on YouTube in the past and even now as I look at this and comment it was just uh, so pretty I mean look at how clear that water is and uh, the people are awesome, of course. So yeah, um, I'll stop talking. 
and uh, just uh, enjoy the rest of the drone video and that'll be it for a short video looks like I made it under a half hour Wow we're getting somewhere <laughs>